Alrighty, welcome back in everyone. As you can see, we have more stair options. And they work just fine. Going down's a little weird. You kind of, like, fall down them. But as far as going up, they work perfectly fine, including this beautiful carpeted, sort of carpeted, uh... <laughs> this is the stone bench. So I'm going to show you what they are. We're going to build one and I'm going to show you how you make them and what you can do here. So but first we're going to start. We're going to go left to right. This is the polished wood shelf. And it between this one, this if you need the, the decorative scrolling on this one and the stone one, I think I like the best. This one, I the palm one, I don't like at all. It, it, I don't know. It just it doesn't work that well for me. So moving on to this one, we are looking at the carved wooden shelf. So it has beautiful detailing in the front of it. Kind of zoom in there so you can see. Very nice detailing if you're doing a... Uh, well, actually, both of these will look really good in a fancy house, to be honest. Then we have palm wood shelf. Again, I don't really like the look of this if I'm being honest and then we have stone bench so this is the only one that will pro actually provide you comfort by being in your house it's also the only one I think looks fine without support like if, if for some reason this was a cantilevered um, staircase came out of the wall I think it would look alright and then from the back side you can see it lets in a lot of light through these. So especially if you, and this is kind of why I like this one a lot, it actually fits the part really well and looks like stair treads, but lets a lot of light through. It's really cool effect. However, th all three of these, I feel like they don't look good if there isn't something on both sides. Uh, it doesn't have to be open like these are. You could have just a wall going up and the staircase goes up that wall. But I feel like it does need something on both sides or it doesn't look like it's supported. And it looks a little weird. So we're going to show you how you make it today. It's very, very easy. Uh, little wrong button. So we're going to start with the stairs. You need to turn snapping off unless you have it where you need it. So I need to go back one. I don't want to be right here because that's where the tread's going to be. I'm going to start with this. Now I'm going to turn snapping back on and boom. So we've got our staircase that we're going to use to model after. Now there's a weird thing that I found out when I was doing this. So you can place your first one and it's going to show up just like this. I place the first one. I try to center it on the tread as best I can. And I place it right at the top of the tread. Now you can actually go down to right there because all subsequent ones for some reason have to be like that. Like if I put this here and if I put a second one in the same spot, it stops me from going up the stairs and I don't understand why. I mean, obviously we're trying to use shelves as stairs. So, you know, <laughs> go, go figure on your questions why. So I have to put it right at the bottom lip, just like that. I can move up just fine doing that. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to continue doing that up this staircase. Very easy to do. Now, obviously, you don't have to go up this high or you can go up even further. You can do a double wide tread if you want to have something more grand. This all started from I saw a video, a little tiny little channel, a dude that figured out well, his friend figured out how to do spiral staircase using these. And that's actually what the video was going to be today, if I could figure out a really reliable way to do it so that I could replicate it. See, look at that, just perfect. But coming down is a little strange. Let me show you what I mean by this. So if I come over here to a, an actual staircase, right? This is what I use for my fall test to see how well the healing's working. I come down, do you see how it's actually walking down the stairs? Whereas this one, it kind of falls down the stairs. I don't have a better answer for that. It just kind of like jumps off the stairs. So I'm going to go back here into my build. I'm going to hit Y twice to get rid of those stairs. Now, this is what I mean. You see how it looks weird sticking out like that? I feel like it needs to have this side. Whether it's stone or you pick some other material or you do some other thing, 
I just feel like it doesn't look right just sticking off like that. And then if I go over here to the stone, you can see how it actually looks... It looks fine. May maybe a little off putting, you know, having to just hang out like that, but I think it looks fine. Whereas this just looks really odd. So the way I solve that, you can do two things. You can just put your wall up. I love hitting wrong buttons. If you want to put the wall up, you're going to use the number four meter. And you're just going to put this wall up, turn snapping off, and we're going to come up. And we're going to do it just right there. And that would snap this wall up. So you put it like that. And you can see it works just fine. It looks good. It gives you everything you need. But if you don't want that, if you don't want to have the closed... I need to learn words. We're going to go over here to 9. First, we're going to hit Y. Get rid of that. This one we're going to set just like this. But it's not complete. I actually have to come back here, go into number 5 on this one. And I have to finalize the last piece. And then it works fine. And I love it. I think it... I think it looks fantastic. It gives you another way to uh, beautify your build that's kind of, um, I mean, like I say, you know, you're not just doing straight lines. You're doing different than straight lines. This is another way to do something different. Uh, last thing I'll show you is I did tweak on my crane. This is the video I put up yesterday. I, I wasn't happy with this top section right here. So I got rid of the chandelier for that wheel. And which allowed me to remove the whole top. And I think that looks better. And I put another one of the the angled roof on this side as well, the tarred roof. And I think it just looks much better. The last thing I did, uh, you remember the two pieces. Let me get the right thing. The two pieces of shroud wood we had right here so that I could snap to it. I went ahead and took them out. If you can see now, you can actually see through it, whereas before it was just the shroud wood. The shroud wood actually stuck out of this just a little bit, and I think that just looks so much better. I also removed the wheel. I I like the idea of it, and if we could have it so it was just the wheel that stuck out from the spindle, I think it would be perfect. Uh, actually, it would be great right up here in that junction. The problem is, even spinning it around the other way, you'd have that thing that sticks out. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to play with that up there because actually that might be something that would work. But yeah, it, it turned out really great. Now it's a little brighter for us to see it. It, it, it looks it looks really nice. It, it looks like a crane, minus the fact that it's basically a right angle. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy.